Hey guys, happy Thursday. Yes, it's Thursday, April 20th. Ooh, happy 420 to all my puff puff passers. So I'm catching up on comments because I'm behind as always. You guys commented quite a lot on my Jerry Curl Juice Wash and Go. So I want to come and show you it one over one week later. I have not rewashed my hair and I've just been wearing my hair. Like I've been pulling it back every now and then into a low bun or a puff. As you guys saw in the last couple of vlogs and then just taking it out and just using a bit of this to refresh i didn't apply any more gel um, except to slick down my bun so this part but other than that that's it because a lot of you guys want to see how it held up so i gotta tell you i'm a fan I'm a fan, I think it looks good. I'm going to be re-washing my hair tomorrow, I think. I'm gonna do another wash and go with my Jerry Curl Juice <laughs> or S Curl by Lester's products. So if you missed the full video, go and check it out. I think this time around though, I'm going to try not sleeping in a bonnet. I'm gonna sleep in a tube wrap so that I keep it elongated because a lot of you guys want to see what it looked like elongated. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'll come back and show you the results. Um, a couple of things. Some of you suggested using a diffuser. Um, I would if I had the time, but I have other stuff to do as opposed to just sitting here with a diffuser. So I just let it air dry while I continue working and doing whatever else I need to get done around the house. And some of you suggested a detangling brush. That doesn't work for me for clumping curls. Detangling brushes separate my curls and make it more like an afro. Um, so for my like 4C kinky hair, I need to do this. Like I need to use my hands to clump together. Detangling does exactly that. It detangles, like separates the curls. So for me, that doesn't work. Maybe if you have a looser texture, detangling brush might work for you. But um, yeah, this is a week later look. It still has movement. Do you know what I mean? Like it's still, it's shrunken, but it still has a little hang time. My cut was perfect. I love the shape that I ended up with. Maybe I could do a little bit more here, but other than that, y'all, I'm a fan. Um, it still does have that sticky feel. So again, these products do leave your hair with a coating. But again, I feel like that's what attributed a lot of our growth back in the 80s. You know what I mean? When we had these is because our hair stayed moisturized, stayed coated and therefore prevented breakage. So I'm OK with it. Some of you did suggest the Nouveau Wave products because you said it gives like a similar, you said it's a similar product but with less of that coated feeling. So maybe I'll try that in the future. I am team use what you got so I will be finishing these because I spent money on them. But in the future I'll definitely take your guys suggestion about the Wave Nouveau. So yeah, I just want to come and show you. Um, this is actually, I'll tell you exactly. One, two, three, four. Ten days. This is ten days old. So that's very rare for me. Anyways, I hope you all are having a great Thursday. I'm trying to catch up on these comments, like I said. I've got some editing to do today. And my goal is to also finish that bag of carrots today. <laughs> so I'll show you what I come up with. Here we are in my kitchen. Maybe you can get a better look at the hair now. I got love mail. Shout out to Joan. Thank you so much. It says, Dearest Tony, I hope you enjoy these as pink is your thing. <laughs> Joan in Texas, your videos make me laugh. Oh, thank you so much. <gasps> no, these are beautiful. Look at these coasters, you guys. They're beaded. Isn't that beautiful? I got a set of four. I super, super appreciate that because I actually have four coasters that I want to replace. This is my current set of coasters. They're like pinkish, marbly looking resin with gold, but the gold is all scratched off. And also I got these from an ex friend that I've cut out of my life. And I don't like keeping energy from things that I've eliminated, which is like one of the reasons why when I moved from my previous house, I got rid of so much stuff. Do you know what I mean? I got rid of anything that my ex got me except for Marley. <laughs> I don't like keeping old energy and things from people with bad vibes. So I'm definitely going to toss these. 
and replace them with the good vibes of my very dear Tonettes, who I love so much. Thank you, Joan in Texas. These are beautiful. They're definitely my vibe. A little African-inspired, Afrocentric, and pink. You know what time it is. If you guessed, it's time to use up these carrots. You're right. And for those of you who suggested carrot cake, you're also right. That's what I'm gonna make. Keisha just cleaned the kitchen, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to mess it up again <laughs> with my baking. So since I'm baking, I thought we could unbox my latest Amazon purchase. Let's unbox it together. I got a cake stand. I just really like the look of this one. It goes with my aesthetic. I will link it down below. It says time for happiness, which is really cute. Oh, that's so pretty. So here's the dome. And it's um, like acrylic plastic. I thought it was glass, which is even better because it's nice and lightweight. And here's the stand. And this comes off for easy storage. Ta-da! How pretty is that? Gonna be sitting on my countertop with a beautiful carrot cake inside. It's lunchtime. Make sure to jazz up these 25 cent noodles. I'm gonna get a can of cream soup. Um, it doesn't really matter. So you have, we have cream of mushroom here, cream of chicken, whichever one you prefer. I'm gonna use cream of chicken because I had cream of mushroom last time. <laughs> okay, so you got a can of cream soup into the pot. Fill this up with water, add it. Okay, so there's the soup um, cooked down. So then we're gonna add our noodles. I'm gonna do two packs. If you only want one pack, then just use half a can of soup. I'm gonna add one of these because the soup is, the soup has sodium already. I'm just gonna add one. And then I wanna add some chili flakes. And a little black pepper. And then I'm going to chop up some scallions while that is cooking. Add those in. And pretty much give it a stir. If you want to add a little bit of cheese, you can. Some grated cheese, but I feel like this is definitely creamy enough. Look at Mr. D's leaves. I'm cleaning them before, after. And this is all I'm using. It's um, it's um, neem oil, a dot of Blue Dawn, and water. As you guys know, I'm addicted to graphic tees, so I picked up a few more from Tee Public. Well, let me show you this one first. You guys remember the t-shirt I got from Tee Public? There was a spelling mistake on it. That has been corrected. Now I have this one, which I actually tweaked the design a little bit and I like it better. The lettering goes from light to dark, as you can see. Being is spelled correctly. <laughs> and I added two versions of it. I added a censored version with a little asterisk and then I have the regular version that actually says shit. And I love it. I love being black. Shit kind of dangerous, but it's dope. So now I have both versions, censored and uncensored, with the correct spelling in my storefront. I also got this t-shirt because I love this show, Abbott Elementary. It's so cute. And lastly, this is actually a surprise for half. I got this idea to do this t-shirt for her with the Spotify barcode on it. And basically, if you scan this, her song comes up on Spotify. Cool, right? <laughs> I 
so this is in my storefront as well if you guys want to support uh a twofer me and half then you can get this t-shirt and when you're out at the bars out at the malls let's get people to scan it just try to get those those views up so yeah i thought this was really cute so i'm gonna gift that to her as well um if there is a sale on or a coupon code or anything like that i'll put the information down below so yeah that's it for today my carrot cake is in the oven can't wait to eat that it's gonna be so good with tea i love cake and tea the girls always make fun of me for <laughs> having cake and tea for breakfast but i don't know there's something about cake and tea that just goes so well together anyways here's my nice empty fridge and my carrots are almost done guys i think i'm just gonna go ahead and cut these up and start on dinner i'm thinking just some big chicken and veg that way i can use up the rest of these that's it. All right, guys. Very productive evening. Here's how my cake turned out. So um, the recipe for this should be up before this vlog. If you missed it, definitely check it out. And look how cute my cake stand looks. It looks so professional. Would you pay for that? I would pay for this. And especially because I know it's going to be delicious, this is the easiest, moistest carrot cake recipe you will try, trust me. And then here's my dinner. I made some garlic butter potatoes, broccoli and carrots. There's the rest and last of my carrots. Yay me. And then I ended up just putting some chicken in the pan. Bon appetit. And good night. I'm tired. As you can see, my cake has been a hit. <laughs> it's delicious. I told y'all it was going to be delicious. But I just want to quickly show you why I really love this cake stand. Twist this bottom part. This comes off. And you're left with this. So that you can easily transfer it into the fridge. Which I love because how annoying is it? trying to get the cake up off the cake stand to refrigerate it when you have icing, particularly cream cheese icing, so. Anyways, just thought I would share that I love my new cake stand. <laughs>